guys, I'm going to walk you through how to build a vacuum stand for pulling extremity sockets. It's really simple. You can do this on the cheap just by visiting your local hardware store, buying a few components. I can build one in about 30 minutes probably. All, this is what we're going to build. It's a pipe that we can put a mold into and we can hook it up to a vacuum. So what we're going to need to do is buy inch and a quarter galvanized threaded pipe. This can be cut to size at any Ace Hardware. This one is 13 inches long for reference. You'll need a inch and a quarter floor flange. Get three of these quarter inch barbs. This is for connecting to the vacuum hose. I like to add a ball valve. This turns the vacuum on and off. And about five feet of quarter inch inside diameter flexible hose. This will connect it to your vacuum pump. If you'd like, you can put in a bolt to help hold the pipe steady inside uh, the vacuum stand, but that is optional. If you'd like to temporarily be able to set this up on your bench, you can do that with C clamps. If it's going to be permanently set up, you will just screw through these holes into your bench top. All these parts together cost about $50 at Ace Hardware. You only need a handful of tools to build this. You'll need a drill. A drill press is preferable. The appropriate drill bits. The tap for threading in your barbs. Epoxy. Some oil for drilling. Thread tape. A wrench. And a punch. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill a hole in the pipe for the vacuum barb. To do this, I take my section of pipe and I clamp it to the table. At this point, I want to punch a starter position for my drill. This is called an automatic punch. It does it, but another way to do this is to grab a sharp point and all you're trying to do is get a little starting area for the drill bit so you can use a screwdriver or anything sharp you have. Now that I've got a starting position, the barb I'm using requires a 7 16 drill bit. However, that's a large hole. I find it easier to start with a smaller drill and then work up to the large hole. Anytime you're drilling through metal, you wanna apply a little oil. If you don't have this specific oil, any oil will do. Vegetable oil, it doesn't matter. You're just trying to lubricate it. So when you're drilling through metal, the phrase is low and slow. So low pressure, slow speed. This is obviously easier to do with a drill press, but it is possible with the hand drill. Here I'll just open up that hole a little bit more. Next, we can tap the hole. Now the most difficult thing about a tap is making sure you keep it vertical in every plane. In this case, this is a special thread. These barbs have tapered threads. So you do need to buy the appropriate tap. You can ask the guy in the hardware store, he'll help you out with that. Now that I have the hole drilled, I can thread in the barb. Anytime you're making an airtight thread, you wanna use some thread tape. It's about 99 cents if you don't have any. I like to seal this 
with a little epoxy just in case around the edges. Doesn't matter what kind of epoxy or glue you use. It's just kind of a extra step to make sure this is airtight. Just to let you know, if you did not want to tap the hole, which is the most difficult part, you could just drill an extra large hole and epoxy the barb into the hole. That will also work and is quite a bit easier. So at this point, we have our barb screwed into the pipe and glued in. So now we can thread it into the floor flange. Just tighten that hand tight. I put some duct tape over the bottom just to seal that up and put it down on something you can kind of throw away. Because at this point we're gonna pour resin into the pipe so we seal the bottom to be airtight. So here I'm just mixing up a little resin. I'll just pour it down. It doesn't take much, just a little bit to seal the bottom off. I probably pour half an inch worth in there. So now I'll just let this set up. Okay, so at this point, we've got our tube. The barb is glued in. It's sealed across the bottom with resin. Now we just have to hook it up to the vacuum. So we'll just take a piece of hose. I like to put that on there. And take your barbs. A little bit of thread tape on them. Okay, so that's gonna be our vacuum on off switch there. So I like to put that about a foot off our vacuum stand. And plug that into there. Now you take whatever vacuum you own and it should have a barb coming off of it somewhere. Just plug that into there. One thing to note is you really should try to get one of these water catchers here. It will prevent corrosion from coming into your vacuum, very important.